Welcome to Good Night Tales. In the heart of the jungle, there lived a young elephant named Ellie. Ellie was curious and full of dreams, but there was one thing she wished for more than anything, to fly like the birds. Every day, Ellie would watch the colorful parrots, tiny sparrows, and graceful eagles soaring high in the sky. I wish I could fly too. Ellie would say to her friends. One day, Ellie decided to share her dream with Leo the monkey, who was swinging from tree to tree. Why do you want to fly, Ellie? You're an elephant. I know, but flying seems so fun and free. I want to see the jungle from the sky. Leo scratched his head and then grinned. Maybe. We can figure something out. Leo called over his friend, Polly the parrot, who was known for her bright feathers and clever ideas. Ellie wants to fly and see the jungle from the sky like the birds. Polly flapped her wings and laughed. That's quite a challenge, but I think I have an idea. Polly and Leo gathered all their jungle friends. They tied together strong vines and giant leaves to create a huge kite-like structure. We're going to help you to fly in the air. Polly chirped excitedly. Ellie was nervous but also thrilled. Are you sure this will work? Trust us, Ellie! With the help of the animals, Ellie climbed onto the kite. Leo pulled the vines, while Polly flew in circles to guide them. Suddenly, a gust of wind lifted the kite, and Ellie felt her feet leave the ground. She was flying, well, sort of. Ellie floated through the air, her big ears flapping in the wind. Below, all the animals cheered as Ellie saw the jungle from a whole new perspective. This is amazing! Ellie trumpeted in delight, her heart filled with joy. Though she didn't soar like the birds, Ellie realized something important. It wasn't just about flying, it was about trying new things and sharing adventures with friends. When Ellie finally landed, she thanked Leo, Polly, and all her friends. You helped me live my dream, she said, smiling from ear to ear. From that day on, Ellie didn't dream of flying anymore because she had discovered the true magic of friendship and adventure right on the ground. <laughs>